Start. Pause. Millie, why are you looking in the push chair? Start. Really? Starting again. Have you ever used a caravan before? Kind of. Kind of. Okay, yeah. so you know how to put the legs down? Yes. Okay, so when you get to site, you take it off your vehicle. Okay, you level it up on your jockey wheel, up or down. Yeah. Then once it's level, you kind of put a, a level on down the side. Then you can put your four legs down. Okay, there's two at the back. Yeah. And one on the side of the front. You have a leg winder with it. Yeah. Okay. So I've got two legs at the back, so I'm winding them up on that so they don't tip up. Obviously, the next thing you do is you put your gas on. Well, we haven't got any gas on at the moment, okay? So obviously, you have a bottle in there and you turn your gas on either from there, that's off, that's yeah. on, or you turn it on, there's a the thing there, off and on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you'd have your bottle there, and if it's a propane one, red one, you turn, close it on the top or open it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do the basics first. So the next thing you do is you put your acrol on and you put, fill it up with water. Okay. What you what you got with this? You've got central eating in a caravan. Okay. So uh, the boiler sits there. That would be under the bunk. And the easiest way to describe it, it's got two jackets. The outside jacket of the boiler has got antifreeze in it and the fluid for the heating. Yeah. Gets heated up, it goes round the van, heats the van, comes back to the boiler, gets reheated. In the centre of that is a hot water tank of 10 litres. So while the heating's on, it heats your hot water. Okay? Uh, there's a drain off valve on the inside, which I'll explain to you when we go inside, and you should drain that hot water tank off whenever you're not using it, or in the especially in the winter, in case you get frost damage. Okay? Uh, the other thing you've got... Traffic coming, excuse me. Mr. The other thing you've got with this is an onboard tank. And the easiest way to explain that is the onboard tank sits behind the bulkhead there inside. And you've got two options. With this one, if you're going to run all your water, your taps and that from here, from your Acrol, you plug your pump into the bottom one there. Yeah? So if we're drawing water from the Acrol, we plug it into the bottom one of those. Yeah. Okay? Uh, what it does, it just draws the water, it's a pump on board, draws the water through the middle of this. If you want to fill the onboard tank, you open that up, see the little electrical 12 volt connections? Yeah. You plug it in there, then you go inside, it'll switch over the door, you press tank fill, this will transfer all that into the onboard tank. Okay. And other pump on the end starts whirring, okay? Yeah, can that be done from a tap as well? Uh, no, or you can if you get, uh, the easiest way to do that is to get a float. You can get a float that fits in there. That un unscrews. Yeah. You can put a float in here, tighten it up. It's made for these. Then you connect that hose pipe to that and then to your taps. Okay. And then what it does then, it keeps up full. Yeah. You can get them to go straight in, but they've got a pressure valve. And if the pressure valve fails, you can dump your valve for water. Okay. Okay? So this has got water in the tank. And on the side of the tank, you've just got a diverter valve, so it diverts from, from to draw from the Acarol or the onboard tank. Okay. <coughs> well, I'll explain that when we go inside, but we are running from the Acarol at the moment. Okay? Yep. We'll go round. That's a little shower unit. So you've got a little shower point inside, which you pick out, you can use a shower. Okay? Cool. Show the dog. So that's your boiler. Battery compartment, I think, were probably self explanatory. Your battery goes in there. And your 240 connection goes in there. Okay. Okay. Um, and you also got an external TV socket there as well. So you can have an external aerial if you want yep. to. Okay. So let's go round, and then we'll see how you get on when we go inside. This is so. Uh, also, you've yeah, got alloy it. wheels, and what they're doing now, the manufacturers are recommending that you check them before you travel. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure no one's been tampering with them when you're on site. You know, it's home and and they're yeah. loose. So if you want to talk them up, it's 130 newton meters or 96 pounds feet. We'll do it before you go. Yep. Okay. So that's that one. Um, whenever you have a shower or you wash up or whatever, it's called grey waste. Okay. And that comes out of these two here. And they go into your waste master. And okay. then you empty them on site, wherever yep. they tell you. Okay. I've got some keys for this. Oh, it's, I don't need one. It's open. This is your flush tank for your toilet. It's a chemical toilet. Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do is you fill this up with pink flush mixed with water. It's about 30 mil per 10 litres. And that whenever you flush your toilet, it flushes it round the bowl. And then you empty it into okay. your cassette. 
This, there's no gauge to tell you how much is in there. You just when it's empty, you refill it. Okay. okay. Your toilet cassette is here, and it's open on the inside. I can tell because it won't come out. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay, we're back again. So I've closed it now, so now it should come out. There you go. It's on wheels. Yep. Okay. So when you want to empty it, basically all you do. Take that, undo that, and vent it and empty it. Yep. You can put a shot of blue in there, make it smell nice, break down the ashes. Don't put any water with it though, okay? Yep. And you drain off for the flush tank for the winter, you must drain this off for the winter, is there. Just take the little bulb out. Cool. Okay, so if I have any questions so far? Is it making sense? Oh, these are little different locks. You clip them in like that, turn the key, and then they lock in like that. Cool. It's because people are Nicky Cassette. <laughs> are you a caravaner? No, Roberta. Ah, oh, similar sort of thing, isn't it? Okay, so far? Mm -hmm. It's a bit to take in, but I think if you, you know, if you've still got that, if you've still got the video running? Yes. Oh, sorry. I don't think that's just a bit of, if you look at it, it's a bit of uh, yeah. sealant. I'll get that off me. Hang on. I'll get a cloth and do that for okay. you in a minute. Okay. Come on round, just watch this little bit of wire coming out here. The gas. Have you got a number plate? Yes. I'll stick that on for you. Excellent. We've got nowhere to fit it. I'm glad I've got some stickies. Excellent. I'll do that for you. Wonderful. Come on inside. Come round. Access under your bunk. Okay. And if you look on that, it stays up on the spring. You just clip the spring, yep. it drops, okay? And this again is the same sort of thing, okay? And you just have to clip him in, and it clips in there when you get him right. And go. Oh, just, they're, they're just awkward until you get them right. That's it. Excellent. All right. Come on inside. Oh, before you go in, I'll show you've got an alarm on this. Okay, so you've got an alarm factory fitted and you've got a little torch at the top Wonderful. and then that is arm and disarm one beep on it flashes once down the side two beeps off cool. okay the next one down should do your awning light if it's switched off that is this one that's it awning light off now that should work that now look on there look excellent okay then you go out and the alarm box is actually underneath there you look under there Got its own battery on board. Yeah. It needs charging every three or four months. Just put your mains lead in, and it, uh, for 48 hours it'll charge it up. Okay. Okay. We'll work that leisure battery. We've got 240 out there. Yep. And you've got a barbecue point there. Cool. Okay. You want to do these again, that? That's it. Lock that one on there. There you go. Do you want to come inside? Do you want to jump in? Do you want to just pause that for a moment? Let's see, because sometimes you just press it. And I, I to, there's all, you won't see the boiler, it's just all under there. Yep. That's all storage, okay? But your tank and everything else is just under there. I don't know if we're going to film this. Do you want to? There's but, your um, tank under there. It's gone all fuzzy. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh Christ, it's gone funny, is it? Alright, uh, okay. Thank you. So you, if you look under here, there's your hot water your cold water fresh water tank under there yeah okay the drain off for it is that one there you lift it upright so it's like that you lift it upright yeah it drains all that tank down the other hot water one is that one there you see there's another one just around there yeah that's your hot water tank that's in the middle of the boiler which provides okay. all your hot water and that's drying them both off where does that come out that just goes straight out ah, through the, into onto the floor okay okay this tank when you fill it from the acarol it doesn't stop when it's full it's got an overflow system on the side Okay. So you'll see it pumping out as well, and you'll see how much is in your tank by doing that. Look, see there? Yep. Tells you how much is in it. Okay? Okay. And you've got a diverter valve now. It tells you all on here. See that one's pointing down, that little white one? Yeah. That means it's drawing from the onboard tank. Okay. If I do that, turn it towards the Acarol, it's now going to draw water from the Acarol. Okay. 
okay yep. so in the winter drain all those down okay your pump is there as well just on the side of there yeah okay so you got dual pump really the one inside and the one on the outside cool and they work together and just so confirm how that works if you look over the door you're right down there over there so if i that's your power on and off so yep. if you're packing up and going out as long as you, your fridges stay on with the mains okay but you just pack up and go out 12 volt off so the fridge is still on yeah when you come when you come back in power back on turn your pump back on because obviously you get no water out your tap otherwise you can leave that on that's your tank fill button if you remember if you're going to fill it up you plug it in the top one yeah then you press the button like that and it'll draw that water out the acrol into the tank excellent Is that making sense yeah okay so that's that and view levels again that's your battery condition with your charger on okay okay so if you took turn the I'll show you where to turn, turn the charger off. When you turn the charger off, then it drops down to tell you the true value of the battery. Yeah. Okay. But we'll show you that in a minute. Cool. Okay. So far. Okay. Yeah. Just your arm. I'll just show you underneath here. This all storage under there. Look. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. And all your instructions I think are in there. Loads of in there. Look. Okay. Lots That's of bedtime reading. For reading. You. Little light by you, which I quite yeah. like. A little, see yeah. little light. It turns off on one of these. Is that on or off? Yeah, it's off. Right. Yeah, so that turns it off down there. A little light time light. Okay. Light up there for the centre. Either side, you've got a light there. Okay. These ones here. That's fine. It's going to wash up. Uh, you also got USB there, down the front here. Yeah. Two sockets, USB, 12 volt socket, aerial socket, and that one there is the one that goes to your battery box okay. so the wiring's into there so if you've got an external sky dish you get access is from there okay okay so far yeah <laughs> now heating i'm going to show you while you're there you might be able to see it from this just there look that plastic does come off so i've left it on for now okay that does cut off you can take the plastic off but i've kept it to, just to keep it tidy all right so if you look at it on and off i just wonder whether we can get someone to take that Plastic off. I will get take it off actually for you. Yeah. I'm just seeing if it'll clip off. Ah, cool, nice. Mm, okay. We're near these cupboards at home, so just can't get into them. Oh, come on. I'll have to get someone to take it off. But if you look at it, the heat it's 22 degrees in here. The electrics to it, so I know it's on, and the pump is on. So I can turn this off if I want to. Yeah. Or we'll turn it back on. And if I go into the menu, you see that, alright? Yeah. Go into the menu. That's the temperature, that's your thermostat, so you can set your temperature you want. Mm -hmm. It's on 27 degrees. That's your hot water. Now, what that does is, as long as you're in the halfway position, it's heating your water, yeah? Yeah. If you run out of hot water and you want more hot water quickly, if you press the boost button like that till it fills that wedge, yeah. it puts you 30 minutes boost on your hot water, okay? okay? Now, if I go back, it's turned the heating off. That's the downside, okay? Okay. If I turn it back off, and the heating should have come back on. Come on, baby. There you go. All right. Yep. The next one is what you heat your van with. You know, so it's either electric. You can have the electric off. Come on. Sorry, I've pressed the wrong button. So you can have your electric off, or you can have it one kilowatt, two kilowatt, or three kilowatt. Okay. I wouldn't have it on three kilowatt. It's too drawing too much power. Have it on okay. two maximum. Gas on or off. Green is on. Okay. Yeah. So in the winter, they recommend you should have this on gas and electric. Two kilowatt, say, and gas. Yeah. It'll get to temperature quicker. Like this is shot up in less than 20 minutes now. Okay. And then it'll cut out the gas and just run on electric. Yep. Okay, so we'll we'll leave that on for a minute and I'll just switch it all off. Okay? Oh, you have got extra menus if you want to play about with it and put it on timers. I'll just show you those for a minute. See all these little menus? Yeah. You need to practice on those and have a look which one. If you find you've changed something you're not sure of, if you go to factory settings and reset it. Okay. But... It's a good system. Yeah. All right. So Hello. turning that off button Sorry, will turn, turn the heating, heating off. off. No, that's okay. off totally. If I turn it back on, it's on. And yeah. it'll run off the settings we're in. Yeah. So we've got a menu to change them. Yeah. It's on yeah. 27. But if you find it's too hot, just go up there, turn it down. Cool. And if you spin it, oh, I don't want it on anymore, turn it off. Yeah. That stops you hot water as well. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we should have a bit of hot water in there because I haven't had it on long. Let's just check. Getting hot. That's hot. Try it. Yeah. Really hot. All right. <laughs> so obviously, by the time you've mixed that 10-liter tank, 
with cool water on the mixer. Yeah. 